guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fuck Skin Crew. So this is the extended version of the Twin Flame reading. Let's get my cards a quick shuffle here. So I'm going to be pulling three cards per position and um, reading some of the cards to you as well. All right. So the strength card or courage. Um, I think we covered this pretty well. You know, this is having the courage to grow. Um, in places that you wouldn't normally see something growing, right? And it, and you also got the strength card as well as the message from the universe, right? So there's this very gentle, loving, um, compassionate uh, strength coming from your past, and you're being asked to continue to hold on to that energy into the future. Okay, so three cards. So the Seven of Cups, Eight of Wands, and the Hope card. A Hope card kept on showing up on the masculine side. So wishes coming true. He also got it over here. Okay, and it was coming in the future for the masculine as well. So the Seven of Cups is confusion, being Dorothy, looking for a home. Right, so not knowing which one to choose. Right, and maybe cause you to withdraw, but then we got the Eight of Cups that, or sorry, the Eight of Wands that is texting, sending loving messages out, receiving those messages, um, accelerated energy, that Eight of Wands is returning in the near future. So, um, what I'm really feeling with this is potential rising, um, and it coming towards you. So this is like uh, your you wish upon a star and your, your wishes are coming true in the future. And it's all because you sent these beautiful seeds of intention out into the universe. There was confusion, but you, this love is coming from a very beautiful, compassionate, gentle space. And because you've been in that energy, your dreams are coming true. So for the masculine was the Ace of Swords, Consciousness, Awareness, Decision, Nine of Cups again in the past, Seven of Swords, and the Lovers in the future, beautiful. Nine of Cups past, you also got that in the past for the mid-month. <clears throat> so this is wishes coming true, feeling emotionally satisfied definitely strong vibration of a twin flame connection and reminiscing about that love and that's what's driving him seven of swords is um you know not being able to trust it's um being be feeling betrayed feeling like somebody's sneaking around behind your back uh, the lover's card in the future is the twin flame um, connection magnetism we definitely felt that with the masculine so, but the main energy is the Ace of Swords, okay, so he cut through the conflict, those thoughts, those feelings of betrayal, um, and focused back on the love, this connection, right, and from that deep love, con uh, consciousness rose, rose, is that a word, uh, yeah, rise, <laughs> Consci consciousness rises like the phoenix from the fire okay so the present position is no nothingness right the high priest for the feminine five of swords conflict ten of cups very nice happily ever after and the queen of pentacles in the future so five of swords negative thoughts negative energy finger pointing projection right that was definitely a theme in the mid-month 
So coming out of that energy uh, and you're holding love in your heart, the Ten of Cups is harmony, peace within as well as within all areas of your life. Everyone's getting along happily ever after. Okay, future position is the Queen of Pentacles. So this is abundance. Um, she did have the Nine of Pentacles as an overall uh, message, which and also there was that career and finances card as well. Um, so there's a sense that she, that building this beautiful home that is loving um, uh, for her her twin and also for her family, like looking after their needs and creating this beautiful space is important to her. She's no longer focusing on negative. She's holding space of love. Um, but there's also this feeling of her wanting to manifest abundance, so that's what she's moving towards. Um, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles is very successful, independent. It's, she also represents harvest. Okay, so the present position for the masculine is the Ten of Pentacles. And I think I wanted to read this card. Where's my book? If I don't have the book, I can't read it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we are the world. When thousands and thousands of people around the world are celebrating, singing, dancing, static, drunk with divine, there is no possibility of global suicide, which um, with such festivity and with such laughter, with such sanity and health, with such naturalness and spontaneity, how can there be war? Life has been given to you to create and to rejoice and to celebrate. When you cry and weep, when you're miserable, you're alone. When you celebrate, the whole existence participates with you. Only in celebration do we meet the ultimate, the eternal. Only in celebration do we go beyond the circle of birth and death. Wow. Celebration. The overall energy. So the masculine is in that feeling of celebration, enjoying life, feeling connected to all. And it's because, you know, he's been able to attain the sense of oneness with himself. So again, there's a sense of being ready. And as a result, you know, this twin flame or lover's connection um, comes into existence or he moves towards it. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice here. Um, so, three clarifiers, Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Fool. Queen of Swords is the Ice Queen, someone who's very judgmental, who has cutting words. Um, she says what are, what's on her mind. Um, she sees through bullshit. She speaks her truth. Now, this could represent a person. Um, but it could be the feminine, you know, we got that five of swords that seems to be showing up in the past, so this could be her projecting negative energy. Um, yeah, projections was definitely a theme, so maybe the masculine is picking up on that, but what I'm feeling is he may be leaving a karmic partner behind, um, or Maybe he had a very judgmental attitude in the past, but um, what I feel with here is him unchaining, you know, letting go of something um, and really feeling connected and whole within himself with the Ten of Pentacles coupled with the King of Pentacles. You know, this the King of Pentacles achieves the Ten of Pentacles, but actually the Ten of Pentacles is more of a retirement energy, but so there is this home that has 
that that is within him. He feels ready. He feels complete. Um, and then he's taking a leap of faith in the future. So again, this is consciousness, um, potential, a new beginning. So from that completion, there's this new start. Okay, so the near future, the Eight of Wands, Queen of Fire, Eight of Pentacles, King of Swords. Okay, so the Queen of Fire, again, somebody who shines their light, they're very um, magnetic, they want to be somebody, people are drawn to her, but also she doesn't give a fuck, right? She doesn't let other, other people's opinions um, deter her. She sh shines her own light and helps others find their light as well. Um, so there's this very powerful energy coming from the past. Again, that solar plexus chakra. The uh, eight of pentacles is work. You're almost there. You're almost nearing the completion, right? You're almost at that nine of pentacles. That was the overall message. Um, you know there's still more work to do and you're continuing on that journey um, and the King of Swords in the future this could be an air sign this could be fire um, but this is masculine energy um, of communication of making decisions taking action cutting away barriers so feminine is working towards something there's a destination that she's working towards she it could have to do with spirituality um, but what I'm feeling with this is she's kind of focused on the destination rather than the journey itself so whatever you're working towards clarity will come or communication will come something will happen there's the work and effort is worth it. Okay. So for the near future masculine, the Knight of Fire, Ace of Cups, Ace of Fire, and the High Priestess. So 11. Ace of Cups, past position. He is an open vessel. He's ready for true love. He's let go of the past. He's forgiven himself, forgiven others. As a result, there's this go light, go time activation, kundalini awakening, new start, and the high priestess in the future. Intuitive, knowing, um, spirituality. There, He's being drawn by the power of 11 and his intuition towards this new beginning of love so beautiful okay so the feminine is bringing in awareness which is a chariot I think I wanted to read this one okay mind can never be intelligent. Only no mind is intelligent. Only no mind is original and radical. Only no mind is revolutionary. Revolution in action. And there's that no, no thingness. No mind. No, you know, nothing. The mind gives you a sort of stupor, burdened by the memories of the past, burdened by the projections of the future. Wow! The feminine had the Five of Cups, which is memories of the past, and uh, she also had the, the Seven of Cups, which is projections. That's crazy. Um, so the mind gives you a sort of stupor, burdened by memories of the past, burdened by projections of the future. You go on living at a minimum. You don't live at the maximum. Your flame remains dim. Once you start dropping thoughts, the dust that you have 
have collected in the past, the flame arises clean, clear, alive, young. Your whole life becomes a flame, and a flame without any smoke. That is a, um, what awareness is. Crazy awareness. Okay. Um, what, what I was feeling with that is that for the mid-month reading, that was the energy that I was, I was definitely picking up on, is the phoenix rising. And I'm, uh, the picture for it is two twin flames coming together. Right? Um, flame, flame, flame. You know, it burns away. Um, you know, all the rot, the decay, right? So that only pure consciousness exists. So that's what she's bringing into the union. The hangman, four of cups, and yang. So perspective shift, letting go of control. The four of cups, she's still hanging on to memories of the past, still kind of longing. She, she, um, although she may have surrendered, um, or had that shift, that again, she's still holding on to some emotional things that she's being reborn from. Consciousness is rising. Future, the yang. I can't say anything more than that. Uh, this is a divine masculine. Um, he could come to her in the 3D, but it's like, you know, once she releases herself from that longing and fully surrenders, let's go, boom, there he is. Turn around, look behind you. He's right there. Okay, so for awareness, the star, I wanted to read that one as well. Okay, so um, the silent mirror-like receptive, receptiveness of a star-filled night with a full moon reflected in the misty lake below. The face in the sky is in deep meditation, a goddess of the night who brings depth, peace, and understanding. And I'm feeling that third eye, uh, goddess in the night there. Uh, I see him looking at the stars there, um, here as well. He was holding the star in his hand um, for the mid-month. Um, yeah, okay, let's carry on. Now, is a very precious time. It will be easy for you to rest inside, to plumb the depths of your own inner silence to the point where it meets the silence of the universe. There is nothing to do, nowhere to go, and the quality of your inner silence permeates everything you do. It might make some people uncomfortable, accustomed as they are to all the noise and activity of the world. Never mind, seek out those who can resonate with your silence or enjoy your aloneness. Now is the time to come home to yourself. The understanding and the insights that come to you in these moments will be manifested later on in a more outgoing phase of your life. So again, he's really going within and he sees the feminine as this, you know, Buddha, the star in the sky. Oh, and also the High Priestess there. Oh, three cards, okay. Wow, Yin, Page of Swords. Wow, 1111. Page of Swords, or sorry, the Yin card, past position, again, pointing to that Twin Flame connection, that heated passion. You really have to watch um, the mid-month update I just did. I do recap the September forecast um, just before I do the reading, point form, more or less, a short version. Um, so there was the Four of Wands, you know, the Nine of Cups keeps showing up. There's this love with the King of Cups, so much love coming from the past, the Ace of Cups, thinking, reminiscing about the past. Okay, and then the, the Page of Swords is somebody who makes a de decision, has mental clarity, has a new thought and wants to act on it, hasn't acted on it yet, cuts away barriers. So there's this clarity that comes 
um, from the feminine. He may want to 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 speak. Um, but what I'm feeling, you know, there's a lot of stillness and silence and clarity here about this connection, the 1111 connection, future lovers. Wow, he's really in that 5D um, ethereal energy right now. Okay, so the heart heart space <clears throat> is a seven of swords so project um, politics masks somebody's wearing a mask I don't really want to read it because it, it, it speaks for itself right there you don't trust somebody okay so the seven of swords also showed up in the past there so um, the five of swords as well you're afraid of having something repeated but what I really felt with this is like the awareness card the there's um, the falseness, the illusions, the facade is all coming away. Okay, so three cards, base chakra. Oh, two cards actually. So one for the masculine, one for the feminine. So the base chakra for the masculine. So this is safety, basic needs being met. Um, you know, so there's a lot of fear here and blockage coming around the the mask right will she accept me for who I am behind the mask um, you know it's second-guessing himself but that I fear cannot exist in consciousness awareness Right. The feminine is projecting the four of cup or four of wands. So there's this love, this gentle strength, this home, this commitment that is being felt in the heart space, um, coming from the feminine, right, with the ten of cups there, being in the now nothingness. And that's helping burn away the mask. You know, you guys are helping each other. I feel that, you know, it kind of flips around back and forth. Okay, so suppression. Again, you know, this is I can't take it anymore. And it's like a volcano exploding. Ten, completion, done. All right, time for... Um, celebration, time to be happy, time to expand the consciousness. Now where can I go? What's my next move? Um, and then there's like that go light with the night of fire, just pow, out of the gate. Okay, so one for the masculine, there's that ace pentacles again and patience very nice okay so again the masculine holding that um, ace of pentacles in his hand that offer he did that in September um, forecast and the mid month okay so this intention has taken root and cracked you know the mass the illusion so, ace, another ace, new beginning. Um, the feminine is bringing patience, the temperance card, finding balance within, um, and being patient, really, being that angel, right? Stepping back from the chaos, being stillness in the eye of the storm. What they desire is a two of wands, possibility, expansion of consciousness for the masculine, five of cups, feminine, queen of cups. So the feminine um, feels maybe that she's being emotional. She's, um, you know, this could be projecting energy as well. Um, but this is somebody who loves unconditionally. 
So she wants to be able to love freely um, with no boundaries or borders or, you know, nothing holding her back. So she is rising above those negative thoughts, you know, and memories that she's holding on to. That's what she wants, what she's doing. She's, turn she's moving into a very loving, gentle, uh, or continuing to be that loving, gentle strength and being more playful as well. Okay, so the Five of Cups for the masculine is mourning and loss, heartbreak, pain. Um, all right, so he wants to also um, stop feeling that loss of the connection. You know, he wants to reunite. He wants to go home. He don't. He, he's tired of feeling alone. Um, and then he, you know, takes that leap of faith into these aces. All right. Um, so the final outcomes we had: the Knight of Swords or fighting, coupled with the Sacral Chakra. So, you know, I kind of already talked about it at length. So let's see what the other cards are. So I consider this a present position. So I'll pull the past, Grand Awakening, and future Page of Swords, or Page of Pentacles. There's that Page energy again. So awareness, um, Grand Awakening. Okay, so in the past, you realized how you've been shielding yourself with this armor. You're afraid to feel emotion. Um, you're afraid to let somebody in. So you're shining awareness on that sacra, sacral chakra. Okay, and I feel that with the page of pentacles in the future, um, you're no longer focused on the past, but you are focused on manifesting your goals. This is commitment, a long-term goal. So um, they're a bunch of pages showed up for the mid-month, okay? So you're returning to this um, childlike state again, where, not childlike, but, you know, like a young adult. Um, it's a very exciting time. It's like you're moving into your, your first apartment or going off to college. There's, there's newness um, that you overcome, okay? But you, it really requires you to make a commitment to it. Um, and you know commit to opening up masculine six of cups with the third eye chakra so intuitive guidance he's thinking about the feminine in the past is justice and the future is the seven of pentacles so justice card is um you know karmic energy what you send out you you get back okay so he may have felt this karmic return come to him um, or he desires this connection to return to him so there's a definite openness of the third eye a going within and he's moving into this contemplative phase in the future so this is considering all the options um, how is this going to work for me, right? So it feels like there's this stall, um, but spiritually and emotionally, there's this movement forward, okay? So whether or not this union takes place in the 3D is still remain, remains to be seen, especially when he's getting the Five of Pentacles up there, feeling alone, okay? So, um, yeah, that's beautiful. All right, so let's pull um, two final cards, a message from the universe. Let's see here. Um, should I make sure we have all the books? All right, so I think we'll use Call It Baron Read Enchanted Map. Okay, this, these two, all right. So for the masculine and feminine, 
Okay, so the final message for the masculine is peaks of joy and the feminine um, wishing well in reverse. So again, there's that surrendering, floating um, down this beautiful river, just letting the current take you, but also peaks of joy. Okay, so there's um, exciting, powerful, uh, passionate energy um, that you're moving into. Really good times ahead. All right, peaks of joy. Your life is filled with happiness. So share it with others. There we go. Give of yourself, opening up. Joy is, joy is yours today. No matter what your inquiry, you will be happy with the results. You're coming closer to the sense of achievement and you've worked hard for it. You're surrounded by true companions and events that are synchronistically arranged to bring you to the next level of your life. The world is singing in beautiful harmony. Life is exhilarating and hopeful. Let gratitude fill your heart and remember to share your happiness. Joy is contagious, right? So share your love and happiness. That is the message. Enjoy life. And that's definitely what I was feeling over there. Over there is him just being happy about being alive. Okay, so wishing well in reverse, 48. All right, so... Desire is the sacred impulse of life. Feel it, but let go of all attachment to ownership. So the spirit is asking you to detach since it, it is in reverse. This is not a time to force anything to happen in your life, especially uh, whatever seems to be eluding you. You can't demand that the universe provide you with what you want. Unmet desires can burst into a destructive fire of obsession. Step back, breathe, and take your attention away from what you want. Yes, that's definitely what I was feeling there, up here, from what you want. Um, uh, ask instead for what you need. Only the unseen knows how to align desire, inspiration, and its manifest form. As the coin disappears into the mystery of the dark pool at the bottom of the well, have faith. Don't engage in wishful thinking. You must co-create with spirit, not make demands. You may yet get what you want. Never forget that life is filled with choices. Make a wish, but be open to the enchanted ways in which spirit fulfills your desires. Nice. Make a wish. All right, I do hope this helps. Please like, share, subscribe and comment. All right, we will see you next week.